Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher at the beginning of my 18th year of teaching and today is classroom setup. So I'm really getting a first good glimpse into my classroom. My daughter and I are first going to go through the cupboards and kind of figure out what's still in here. Now I am sharing this classroom with another teacher. So I teach six class periods and I will be in this room for five periods and then a science teacher will be in here for three periods. So I can't just completely set up all on my own and take all of the amazing storage that there is. I do need to share it with the other teacher. So for right now, I'm um, bringing in some some of my stuff and I will flip the camera around in a second and show you guys but there's a ton of storage in here so my idea is to take half the storage in the main classroom figuring that's fair especially you know I'm in here more so I figure at least taking half of it is good and then when the teacher comes in and hopefully we meet during our first two teacher work days we can kind of figure out the rest of it from there so I'm gonna flip the camera around take you on a quick tour and then my daughter and I are gonna go ahead and start unloading our car So we walk in the door here and here is half of the classroom. So I've got a couple of science lab tables here, obviously not using those for science labs, but it'll be great for group work and then pan around the room. So I've got a lot of these big tables. I'm excited about that. I'm hoping that my the other teacher will like to arrange them a little bit differently than the way they are right now. And my idea is to take all of this storage on this side of the classroom, and then he can have the storage on the other side. There is a second door. I think I'm just gonna have them use one door. And then it looks like there are two bulletin boards, so one here, one on the other side. And then, take you guys around here. There is, at the doors that we came in on, right off to the side there, there is a back storage room. So, I mean, there's a ton of space in here. A lot of these cupboards have stuff in them, so I don't know how much is the teacher that I'm sharing the room with and how much of it is stuff that's gonna go away, but I figure he can use all of this space. And, you know, if he needs some of this, and if not, that would be great, I will take it all. Okay, so the first thing that I brought were all of my boxes with all of my student supplies in them, all the manipulatives that I used. I at least knew I would put these in my classroom. So my daughter helped me get those all out and I sort of sorted them by geometry. This is the stuff I use most often and the stuff that I don't really use. And then I still have stuff back in those boxes, just like random things. So we're gonna work on getting this stuff put now, hopefully, oh, it definitely should all fit in that cupboard right there. Okay, that was perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Don't need to worry about running out of room. Um, so all the just random loose stuff that I have will probably go at the very bottom there. But I've got this main shelf here. The easiest to access is everything that I use the most. This stuff kind of the second most. Up at the top is most of my geometry stuff that I won't use. And then this is random stuff for curriculum that I don't use very much, but I may need them for projects. All right, so everything that we brought pretty much is already put away. So I'll just show you guys a quick recap. So this one is definitely the most organized of the cupboards. Those are the things that I use the most. The cupboards below 
a little bit more of a mess, but not everything has a box. And this is not stuff that I reach for quite as often. So we've got that there. And then just started a few things in this cupboard. The rest of that's at home. So we're going to, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It is 2.20. So we may or may not get another load in today. So my daughter and I, we'll flip you around. So my daughter and I are going to run um, just to take a peek at the other classroom. So I'll show you guys the other classroom that I'm using. Yeah, isn't that kind of creepy? I'm hoping that the other teacher in here is good with covering that up, even if it's, you know, poster or something, because I'm not sure I want that face staring at me all the time. Um, and then we're going to walk into the math and science office where I will have my little like cubicle-ish area. And I'm going to see if they have assigned me a desk get. So here's the classroom that I'm in for one period of day. The beautiful thing about this classroom is the amazing windows. Look at how much light is in there. I may not turn on the overhead lights in here. So yeah, I'm only in here one period a day, so I won't be moving anything in and storing anything really in here. Um, but I just wanted to come up and look at it. I absolutely love all the whiteboards that are around the room, so I'm hoping to get my kids up and to the whiteboards a little bit. So that's going to be it for classroom setup day one. I know it was super short, but you know, um, with the unknown of how much space can I use in the classroom and how much, you know, just everything unknown didn't bring a whole lot of stuff today. So if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in following along more with my journey of teaching high school, please subscribe. I try to upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. And I hope you guys stick around for classroom setup day two.